Good afternoon, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blog Spot. Today is Tuesday, the 9th of October, 2007, and the market's closed, and we have another record high uh, for the S&P 500. The uh, Spiders finished with a gain of $1.38. That's just about 0.9%. And you can see here, after yesterday's low volume pullback, we did have a little bit of uh, increased volume in today's rally, although it is uh, still notably below the 20-day moving average of volume, and the volume on this whole rally has been light, and that uh, you know confuses a lot of people. But uh, what you have to remember is that typically lower volume rallies don't hold up, but it's a complete waste of time right now uh, putting uh, any analysis into that because uh, it's it's obviously not a reason to sell short, and it's not a reason to sell your long positions. The only thing that pays is price, so that's what we really have to pay attention to. Um, the market, like I said, is again at all-time highs here for the S&P 500. We've got this uh, trend line in the uh, on the 10-minute time frame that has been holding. Yesterday, I warned that uh, the more times it's tested, like uh, any type of support, the more likely it is to fail to hold. It looked like maybe that was going to happen today, but the market came down, touched that uh, trend line, and then just screamed higher in the afternoon. So uh, buyers still in control here. I think that... Uh, best support, uh, more, most important support near term rather, is probably at about 154.70 or so. Continue to keep an eye on that area, but there's, again, there's nothing suggesting that there's anything to be concerned about here, but as with a lot of times in the market, when there's no reason for concern, that's uh, that's when the uh, a lot of times you see a surprise. So we have to, uh, of course, always be aware that there is always risk in the market, but right now, the risk is being short. So uh, we've got earnings that are starting to come out. That's going to be uh, very important for this market. And these levels that I'm drawing in right now, uh, if we do have negative reactions, will provide uh, hopefully the uh, first levels where the brakes get hit on the downside as far as support goes. Um, so let's see if the uh, if the fundamentals can uh, catch up to the um, to the technicals because the the market you know news and surprises tend to follow the direction of the trend so we've clearly got a great rally going here as it uh, continues to move and we uh, higher and we want to give the benefit of the doubt to the buyers as long as it remains above this rising five-day moving average don't fall into selling stock shorts because you think they're up too much or whatever other justification you might have the smh uh, continues to uh, be just stuck in this range, 30, uh, 37.80 to 39.10. And, uh, you know, we had that support level tested once again here in the morning, or mid-afternoon rather, but it did bounce strongly from there. We do have a declining five-day moving average on the 10-minute time frame. So that means uh, just basically trade something other than semiconductors. This is a complete waste of time. There's so many good stocks rallying that uh, you know why bother with the semiconductors is the way I, I view it go where the action is and it continues to be in a lot of those Chinese stocks um, the IWM had another good day as well as it's uh, approaching these all-time highs in here and it just seems like uh, it's you know like I said yesterday it's within striking distance of these all-time highs the market has been stair-stepping nicely higher these levels will be important as far as uh, where there's likely to be support if we do see uh, some pullback in the short term. Uh, yesterday we saw that the uh, uptrend line was broken, but that, again, breaking a trend line doesn't mean that we're due for a reversal. It means that maybe there's a slowdown. It means there's, a little, there's room for concern. But this level here, uh, 83.30, let's call it, that's going to be our more important level of short-term support. And then just uh, just below that at about 82.80 or so, and then uh, we've got uh, really about uh, say, you know about 82 dollars a share as far as potential support levels go uh, for the IWM. The Nasdaq 100 just seems to want to make a, a new high every day in here. Again, it's not all-time highs, of course, but multi-year highs, and uh, the, these trends can continue for a lot longer than people expect them to. It doesn't mean that you ought to just go in and buy everything blindly, but l wait for the low-risk entries and set your stops and, and let the market do the work from there. What we have to do is just manage risk. And uh, it, you know, the, the longer this rally continues up uninterrupted, the greater any negative surprise will be, meaning that the, any, the greater the impact of any negative surprise will be although it's likely to be short-lived. Uh, that is, if we get some kind of 
you know, sharp and sudden uh, uh, unexpected sell-off. We have uh, 52.15, or is this old high in here? We do have a rising five-day moving average. And this uh, this trend is getting ex you know more extended each day. But as long as this pattern of higher highs and higher lows continues on the short-term time frame, uh, stay long your, your good stocks uh, and make sure you've got a uh, strategy in mind for locking in the gains.